how do you guys gain that self belief and self confidence? You know, at the at the start of your career to be so successful. Because I mean, in Russ, in your your booklet and your album, you talk about how it's so imperative to be confident and have yeah. self belief to be successful. You want me to like honestly? The truth is, you have to be born with it. Or number two, how you can kind of curate it is you run directly head first at fear, like wildly crazy at fear. Like if you're scared to go on stage, go on stage. Mm-hmm. And then afterwards, you're gonna be less scared and then do it again. If you're scared to go up to the girl and talk to her, go up to the girl and talk to her. Like anything you're scared of, you can actually just attack it. And then right, the fear you can just sit there and be like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> just like your song, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, that is what I meant. Uh, you know, I think, I think look, I think here's, here's what I think. There's another, there's another thing that I believe, which is parents do it, my mom did it for me. My mom gassed me up so much. Like, I'll never forget being four foot 11, freshman year of high school, like second part of it, like almost into sophomore year, four foot 11 dude in high school, right? Like greasy long Mm -hmm. fucking hair because everybody was mulleting back in 89. (laughs) Yeah. And there was something that happened. I was like, wait a minute. I'm not the best looking guy on earth. Like my mom had me so delusional. Like I thought I was the best at everything. I still weirdly carry that. Like like parents can absolutely do it. Yeah. Born with it, absolutely. Head and fear can do it. Now, yeah, if see, you- I mean, but see, in, the, thing, the thing for me is like exactly my parents. I mean, I'm growing from, got an Asian heritage background and what they do is like, they tell us a lot like, oh no, don't do that and don't do this, you know. Like, That's they, why you're scared. Yeah. That's why you're scared. And that and now I'm gonna get to the point and you actually made it better. I appreciate you jumped in there because you're gonna make my point even better. So now we just talked about three things. So cool, you're sitting at home watching Gary Vee and Russ right now and you're like, okay, be born with it. Can't do that, right? Run into mm-hmm. fear. Most people, like 99% won't do it. That's why it's called fucking fear, right? <laughs> Number three, your yeah. parents could have done it when you were a kid. You're sitting here like, cool, but my parents were immigrants and said go to school, or my parents were miserable and didn't want me to succeed because misery loves company. So now you're sitting okay. here listening to this and saying, cool, it's nice that these guys were sitting here, but fuck these three things they came up with. And here's the fourth and the only one that I've ever seen in my eyes happen, and it is such a big fucking deal and it's perfect because I love the way these four part of this crew interact with each other and I watched them the other night very carefully on this issue. Here's the fucking answer for all of you of the one thing you can do. Surround yourself with people that gas each other up. Facts. Surround your, the biggest, the only thing you can control is who the fuck you hang out with and if you're hanging out with three kids and they are all like we're never gonna get out of town, we're never gonna get out of this town, Dude, what are you talking about? You're gonna have a fucking hit song or you're gonna start a startup. You're gonna fucking work at the factory just like the three of us, just like our dads did, and we're all gonna fucking die here. You need to get those fucking people out of your life. You need to, I talk about, I don't talk about it a lot. I talk about cutting your most loser friend, yeah, gaining and your I've most. Yeah, I've been doing that ever since watching your show. So you've cut out some friends? Yeah, no, I cut out some friends. Like now, like, I mean, everyone, all my, those those friends back in the day now, like, I mean, I'll talk to them here and there, but like, per- exactly. they still go out and party and stuff and they think I'm a loner. But I mean, I'm over here trying That's to do my beautiful. thing, just listening to Russ and then watching you, man. He <laughs> me up. So wait a minute. Now that there's one last part, because we're your virtual friends, and that's right. right. That's right. But yeah. you need to add one or two per- people that are actually physically around you that are in the same spot as you. Right. What me and Russ were 15, 10, 15, 20 years ago. You need to find that person, and they're there. So many people. Fucking leave a comment right now in the fucking comments on, on Facebook. They're all there. Facts. Man. Appreciate it so much, guy. I mean, it's, it's like it's like Boogus to Russ and then D-Rock to you. It's like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's That's real. Love it. See ya. D-Rock, don't get excited. You're not my, you're not my best friend. But you're a dear friend. And I love you very much. Bye.